Alright guys, we're out here doing some tip-up fishing this morning, hoping to find some walleyes, pike, maybe even some perch. Got one of these firehouse tip-ups that just went off, super nice, got the light, saw it out here spinning, easy to see, so go ahead and take it and see what we got here. That's at least three pounds. First catfish ever through the ice on the jaw jacker. Get it, Brandon. Yes. That is what it's all about. Beautiful Mississippi walleye. He's not spinning at all. Braden, take that one. Let this guy go. I'm just fishing for fun today. All right, second flag of the morning. Josh just had a really nice, what, 16, 17 inch walleye. We'll see what we got here. Got him? Nope. Good hunch. All right. Oh, All right. We'll take him. It's action. Yep. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and get this fish unhooked and then uh, let it get light and we'll talk to you guys a little bit more. Perfect. All right guys, we're out here. We got our third flag, second one on the firehouse tip up. These lights are awesome, I love them. Doesn't look like the tee's moving, but it has been up for a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and take it right away. Oh, there's a fish there. Got him. Feels decent. Feels kind of lethargic. It feels like a walleye. It died. Oh no. Yeah, it literally right before you got it up, it freaking died. I'll have to look at that. Oh, there she goes. Good luck, Braden. Oh, shh. Feel it on you? Yeah. Good one? No, I don't think so. Lethargic as hell again. Oop, sorry. Decent head shake though. Uh, definitely a pike. Maybe another one to pickle? Yeah, it's decent. Oh yeah. If I can get it out, here we go. All scarred up. Oh, I don't know, 26. 26 yeah, nice, incher. Nice little pike there. Good back on her. Yeah. Perfect pickler. Get her unhooked and uh, get this tip up set back up. We'll show you guys how we're setting them up here in just a minute. All right, guys, so we are out here doing some tip up fishing this morning. As you've seen, I'm going to go over how we're setting these tip ups up a little bit, real quick. Um, come in a little closer here for you guys. I really like to run these red treble hooks. I like mustads or gamakatsu, however you say that. We're running a combination of suckers and shiners today, some metal leaders. Um, some with these little uh, blades and beads, and some just with mono leaders, some with spinners, some without. So um, obviously we're already all set up, but I'll kind of talk you guys through how we set these tip-ups when we're targeting pike and walleyes. All right guys, so when we first get here, obviously we drill the hole first, come over here, scoop it out. Um, first thing we're gonna do is get our tip-up ready. And then normally we wouldn't have a minnow on when we're setting up, but we take our depth finder here that clamps onto our line, clamp that right on the line over the hook. Don't clamp it on the hook, it'll fall off. Done that one or two times. Then you go ahead and let your line out, and that'll take your hook directly to the bottom of the lake. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab this line, it's light. As soon as we get to the point where we feel weight, that we're gonna put our fingers right there and hold it right there. 
Next thing is, is these tip-ups that we're using have a T that goes down into the water. Pretty much all of them do. So we take that here and we measure that because our bait is gonna be down that far. Our line is gonna be down that far. And then what we do is we decide how far we wanna be off bottom. I like to go anywhere from a foot all the way to about two or three feet off bottom. And then I like to set a marker bobber there. I really like doing that because after you get a flag, you can reset up real quick. You know you're at that same depth where you caught that last fish. Um, what I do is I run a variety of depths until I figure out where they're at. Let's drop down the Markham Pursuit HD underwater camera and show you guys why we picked this spot today. Through previous scouting, we had located weeds, so we had to come back for early ice. We'll spin around and show you guys what we're working with today. I think this is number five. Fifth flag, another one on the firehouse. The firehouse tip-ups have been hot today. Oh, it's spinning like crazy. Got him. Definitely gonna be a pike, I bet. Oh, broke me off. What, the pike? Did you see it? Didn't get to see it. No, nope. got right up to the hole and Tried to take a run and broke me off right away. Oh, we got another flag behind us, Braden. Oh my God, we got another flag. Three flags, back to back to back. Big, big shiner, yep. Oh, here, Braden, you need the mic. Still hasn't moved. Yeah, let's see what this one does here. That was a big minnow. Yeah, that's the one we still gotta retie. Kinda crazy here, guys. We Got just on. a ton of flags. Here, take a glove. That thing's cold. Stand. So you want that other one for sure, huh? That big minnow? I I'll take this one. I'll take this one. Just barely twitching. Very nice steady run. Got him. Not sure what it is. It feels like it's got a decent amount of weight though. Oh, nope, swimming at me. Another pike. Another pike. Oh, looks like we got a decent one. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Not big, though. Not bad. Fun to catch. That's the important part. I think we'll probably take this one to pickle, too. Got two of them. Might as well take one more, huh? Yeah, one more to pickle. One more, and then we'll let the rest of them go today. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth there. Perfect. Get them unhooked. And of course we forgot the minnows again. We're not, we're not very organized, but the flags keep popping. It's kind of messing with us. We're gonna set that right there, keep that tee in the water so it doesn't freeze up. Then we're gonna go check that other one here quick. Mike. Doesn't look like it's moved, but we'll see. Oh, we got three, we got four or five pike, a walleye, and now a perch. Yep. It's been a good morning. Yeah, very good morning. Give her another 10 seconds and we'll check it. Maybe another one will pop. It's been pretty steady. I would say the longest we've probably waited for a flag today is what, 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. It's not moving, but we'll check it here. Yep, he's on there. Feels like a decent head shake. Doesn't feel like a pike, but it is a pike. I don't want to break him. Ah, he broke. <laughs> I 
Well, you're going to get good at tying hooks today, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, do, do you have the pliers on you? I do. All right, time to retie again. Nice little pike, though. Fun to catch. Absolutely. Good to be out. All right, guys, we're uh, out here at another flag. Probably somewhere around flag 15 or so. Been a really, really fun morning out here. Doing some tip up fishing, chasing walleyes and pike. This one has not moved since we got out here yet. It's got a big minnow on there. We're gonna give them just a minute here and let them eat it, hopefully. I can't see the bobber and the line is way off to the side. So hopefully, hopefully he's sitting there eating this big old shiner on here. Or sometimes they'll spit it too. You never know. It's kind of a dilemma. You don't know if you should take it right away, thinking if maybe they're gonna spit it or if you should let them sit there and hopefully they're eating it. There is a fish on there though. So what I'm going to do here, guys, since it's not spinning fast, what I like to do is I like to take my tee here and I know exactly which way to spin it. If I spin it clockwise, it'll let some line out so that fish shouldn't even feel when I pick the tip up up. Oh, running. Probably going to be a pike again with that type of run. Maybe not, though. It is a pike. And it's a little guy. Little guy. On the biggest minnow. On the biggest minnow, it. yeah. Check out the huge minnow in his mouth all the way down his throat and the tail sticking out. He was hungry. Go ahead and get this guy unhooked and let him go. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today. We didn't get any more after that last flag that we showed you guys. Um, went to pick up our tip-ups there and we actually had a, a northern on one of them. That was kind of funny. So got out here with my buddy Braden today. Had a lot of good fishing and a whole bunch of flags and just had a really good time. So hopefully uh, we'll be getting back out here soon again, doing another video. Might be out jigging for panfish, might be chasing walleyes and pike. You guys want to find out, make sure you subscribe so you see more videos coming soon. Stay safe and tight lines, guys.